What up guys, Captain here, one any gamer. And I got some more Black Ops gameplay for you. Just another gameplay before I start my Let's Play on Duke Nukem Forever. Now I hope you guys are gonna stay tuned and enjoy it because I'm not gonna, you know, continue it if you guys aren't watching it. Um, but I'll, I'll probably, you know, go all the way through. I'll do the walkthrough and everything for it, and hopefully uh, beat the game with you guys, and uh, we'll see how it is. I heard a lot of people already say it's out, in which that is true. It is out in some areas of the world. It's it's out in Europe and uh, Australia. But in America, it doesn't come out until the 14th, so I gotta wait. But it's gonna be fun to play, and uh, I don't know if I'll do multiplayer or not. But I know I'll probably just get on there just to check it out. Because I'm not really big on that. I kind of like Call of Duty for my multiplayer um, deal, and I probably won't be playing Duke Nukem really long. I just I, I want to try to do the campaign, beat it, and. Um, Probably that'll be about it, and I'll probably go back to Call of Duty. So um, stay tuned right, for that, definitely. And a lot of stuff has been um, released about Modern Warfare 3, and um, you know E3 uh, was was it last week or whatever. And it's freaking crazy, like um, what was uh, shown that Wii U thing, which is like a basically like. Um, <laughs> it's almost like a big ass freaking PSP, but it's for the Wii, so. Well, I wonder how that's gonna turn out. I can't use the damn thing because uh, the, the buttons are too far apart, but. I don't know. I, I'm kind of afraid that uh, these new, you know, gaming companies are gonna go away from um, uh, thinking about the disabled gamer. You know, they, I, I understand, you know. That they make a lot of money off of these new inventions and ideas, and um, I just I I wish that they would just you know think have the gamer at heart, you know, and uh, think about other people, you know. I mean, there's disabled acts all over the world, you know. There has to be you know wheelchair accessibility and all that shit, and they can't put in something simple as a uh, custom button remapping, which is just ridiculous. Um, they actually, uh, there was a thing about it, they were talking about it, and I read the article, and they said there was a lot of bugs and glitches, and they think it's going to be exploited if they do that. So, that's probably going to be a no-go. It's and more likely they're never going to do custom button remapping. Um, I really hope that maybe they can get like a team together, or, you know, the companies together to, you know, actually, you know, show show that we, uh, us disabled gamers are out there, which I'm glad that they're responding to a lot of guys. Um, there's a few guys that follow me on Twitter that uh, they have been trying to, you know, do things that to promote it. Um, and, you know, there's a petition out there. And it's really important that, you know, that I... I wish that they would do it because it would make it more enjoyable for a lot of people to play video games. Um, I don't think people would just jump into a game and be like, "Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this layout. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna piss this guy off. I'm gonna set this thing up. I'm gonna make it so, so fucking ridiculous. I'm gonna freaking shoot, aim, and knife at the same time. Yeah, I'm gonna fucking do it." And people are not like that. Like, seriously, when people want to play a video game, they usually use a default layout. That's what most people go for. I mean, it's, I really don't think it's going to cause a big problem. Yeah, there might be a few people that, you know, might exploit it, but that is just a few people out of, like, millions that could benefit from it. And I, I really think there's millions of people that could benefit from it, to be honest. I mean... There's a lot of people that just don't even like Xbox because the, the controls, the configuration, um, the, the buttons are, are flipped. They're not used to it, so they have to adjust. So, you know, their timing or the reactions are a little bit off. Yeah, you can, you know, work into it, and over time you're going to progress and you're going to get better at it, which is like anything else, but it's just it would be more convenient for people to select their button layout to what they want. Um, hopefully I get my custom controller for Xbox 
And I think I'll probably get, I'm hoping to get that actually tomorrow. I don't know if I am or not, but I, I think uh, I'll probably do a video on it and I'll show you guys uh, a video on it and I'll probably, um, yeah, I'll definitely do a video on it. So get looking forward to that. I'll probably do that uh, maybe for my 200 video or something because that's going to be coming up. So I might, you know, stop the let's play just for one video and get that in there. Uh, if it, whenever that comes. Um, I think I got a cool little graphic on it, so I pimped it out. <laughs> I spent some money on that damn thing. Hopefully it's worth it, because um, basically what I did, I, I, I reversed the, uh, the trigger buttons. Instead of them being, you know, aim and shoot, it's going to be the bumpers. So hopefully that benefits me. I, I'm sure it will. Um, the map pack came out on PS3, so Zombies, Call of the Dead. And uh, the the first first time playing, I got to round 21. And I don't know if uh, anybody's beat me yet on my list, on my friends list yet. So we'll have to wait and see. Um, but yeah, did already a couple of the trophies and stuff, which is cool. Played uh, playing uh, Black Ops because I want to get to 15 percent still doing the double points. Which I'm glad uh, double points started this weekend because I was in Chicago last week. And I was like, oh, fuck, uh, double points is going to be, <laughs> it is, it, I'm not going to have an advantage to get two double points. Uh, but fortunate enough to do that and get some uh, prestiging going on here. I think I'm now the 12 prestige. So this gameplay is pretty old. And I just wanted to share it with you guys because it was a pretty good score I got. I think I went uh, 50 and 2. Um, I did use high kill streaks, but... Um, I'll have a game coming up here um, after I do the Let's Play that I use low kill streaks that was pretty good. So, um, if you guys haven't checked out my Duke Nukem demo gameplay, definitely check it out. I'll have a, the video response on the bottom. And I think I'm just going to end this commentary. So, if you guys want to definitely leave it a rating it deserves, I greatly appreciate it. And if you guys haven't checked out um, my Twitter or my Facebook, definitely leave a comment on the bottom. Cap in and out. I'm out. <laughs> Throwing grenade. Losing Alpha. Friendly spy plane inbound. Mission accomplished. Nice job.